This is a demonstration of a fuse bulb and continuity tester made by Magaro Machines Inc. Uh, it comes complete with your meter leads. Uh, if you weren't looking for the continuity tester part of it, we do make just a fuse and bulb tester. And that, of course, will cost less money. And I'm going to set these meter leads aside. So the first thing you want to do is you want to install your battery. So this has a little tab here on your battery plate and just push that in, lift, it, lift your battery plate up to about a 45 degree angle and pull it out and then grab your battery and install this on your battery clip or a battery terminal whichever you prefer to call it and then you want to just feed the wires down in the box install the battery terminal in first that's the only way it'll go in and drop it down in there and then reverse the procedure and then you just want to push and click that down into place and then you're locked in there nice and tight. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll make sure that everything's okay. And that's a, uh, just the fuse tester right there. You can use anything on anything that conducts electricity. And then you can test your fuses on this, doesn't matter what they are. Fast blow, slow blow, whatever. You know, just bridge them across. There's two pads, GMA fuses, small ones. Just bridge them across. And you can test these automotive fuses too. Those you can pretty much tell, but if you have any question, you can test it. Going to move on to some lights. This here is like a 40, 47. Now with these bulbs, you don't want to leave them in too long. Or, you know, these lower voltage bulbs because you will damage the bulb and shorten its life. This is like an 1893. Again, you could just push down in there. But that being a higher voltage bulb, I can screw it down in if I want. You can test your wedge bulbs. This is a 161. Pop him down there. A 555. And again, with a low voltage bulb like this, we just want to push them down and light them up. We don't want to leave it in there a long time. Then we can test our flashers. 89, 67, 63, whatever kind of flashers you got, you can test them. And for our wedge flashers, they go into wedge socket 9. You know, 906, 904, 912, whatever you got, it'll test them. Also, test your LEDs. 47 equivalent. Uh, 555. And with these, uh, with these wedge bulbs, if it doesn't light up for you, make sure that, you know, I'll see if I can get one. Uh, sometimes these wires will get out of the realm of the socket so just check your wires if you're having trouble with a wedge bulb like that uh, your 89 flasher LED flasher 89 equivalent so that's all the bulb testing there I mean it tests pretty much anything you want to test in it so I'm gonna do a little continuity test in here and I'm just gonna use my meter lead so I don't have to open a new pack and these are the same as the ones we sell for now so I'm just going to make sure I got tone. So I got tone and the LED lights up. But what we're really listening for is just the tone. So I'm going to do a little continuity testing here and a little troubleshooting. Okay, so if I was trying to troubleshoot a GI section, and this would be like out of a, this is a rotten dog board. It would be like out of a Williams or a Bally pinball machine. And, uh... So if I was having trouble with my purple string, I'd just come down here and uh, I could check continuity through this circuit and make sure everything is, in, is intact. So I'm going to come here to pin 12 and this first leg on this track, and I have continuity there. Then I'm going to come from the second leg on this track, this Q12, and I come down to pin 6, which I believe is right there, yep. So these two are just kind of connected together, so I usually just go to the outside one. And then I'm going to test my uh, purple-white string, and that can test all the way through. And that goes from pin 11, yes, I'm cheating, I'm looking, all the way to pin 2. So we can see we've got continuity all the way through there. What we're listening for is the tone. And um, I've got three meters in my shop, but uh, most of the time... Actually, all the time, we just uh, grab one of these when we're just doing continuity testing. 
Um, if you're testing your fuses, you know, you can either, you know, pop an end out and use your meter leads, or you can use the fuse tester itself. Um, but uh, that's pretty much that unit, all the testing aspect of it. We warranty these for life. You know, I don't care if you're buying too many pinball machines and your wife smashes it with a hammer, you know, we'll cover that. So your meter leads stop working, anything goes wrong for you, you know, just send it back to us and we'll, we will repair it or replace it. Uh, depending, you know, if your wife smashes it with a hammer, I think we're going to probably be replacing it. But that is that unit, and I thank you very much for your time.